Alley was held at City Hall yesterday as officials questioned the need for Mayor Adams' budget cuts that affect public safety and the quality of life. CBS 2 political reporter Marsha Kramer says city council members are suggesting other ways to navigate the tough economic times. It was a stark reminder that the budget cuts Mayor Adams has ordered to help pay for the migrant crisis and to fill the gap left by the loss of federal pandemic funds are very, very, very unpopular. A rally by progressive council members and grassroots organizations seeking to reverse the cuts. It is completely untrue that we have to make these cuts right now. The rally came before a city council budget hearing into the need for belt tightening to deal with a $7 billion budget gap and the mayor's proposals that in the first round would cancel the next five police classes, reducing the NYPD headcount to 29,000, the lowest level since the 1990s, reducing manning on 20 fire companies and hit the sanitation department with many cuts, including fewer litter baskets on the street. Cutting every agency's budget indiscriminately will disproportionately impact everyday New Yorkers. The council issued a budget report that found an additional $1.2 billion in tax revenue while agreeing that the city does face difficult fiscal headwinds. Finance Chair Justin Brennan slamming the Office of Management and Budget, OMB, for not finding the funds. How can the public properly assess if the city needs to make these budget cuts when OMB is working on tax revenue projections that are essentially eight months old. We still have a gap of $7 billion to close in 37 days. The council suggesting other ways to find money, including using some of the city's budget reserves, collecting unpaid fees and fines, state and federal aid, and reviewing tax breaks, which are no longer necessary. The budget director said he would be happy to work with the council on the tax break issue, but he said that while it would help in the long run, it would not fill the present gaps. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Mayor is expected to ask agencies to come up with two more rounds of budget cuts totaling 10%. Public libraries say they are especially hard hit.